one of the most intelligent species on earth. Possessors, rare ability to transfer acquired intelligence across generations. 6.5 lakh viruses and bacteria on its body. Capability to spread more than 23 types of diseases. One of the deadliest enemies of mankind. A housefly. A housefly can be commonly found in almost all human habitats in tropical regions. Seemingly harmless, it is so efficient in spreading diseases that often it is too late before we may even take note of its deadly activities and their dreadful after effects. A silent killer which works more silently than any secret service on the earth. And when it comes to poultry business, fly problem can be much more than what we can imagine. It is a well-known fact that confined operations in poultry increase productivity. However, at the same time, it is also true that they are also conducive for fly development. Flies can breed in any organic waste, poultry litter being the most preferred one because of its nutritive value. Flies can be a menace anywhere in the world, wherever the day temperature goes beyond 24 degrees Celsius. However one may try, but total eradication of flies is impossible due to many factors. A single fly coming from any location can start a new colony in your poultry farm. This is a simple statistical calculation which indicates reproductive potential of flies leading to exponential growth. Fortunately, these figures cannot be reached as nature controls them. As per WHO studies, flies are ranked amongst the top two most dangerous insects to mankind. It is not only because of its proximity to human beings or sharing of environment, but also due to its body structure and ability to transfer acquired intelligence to next generations. Flies have sponging types of mouth parts which are covered in moist saliva. These mouth parts help to maintain viability of bacteria and virus for a longer period and in the process make flies efficient transmitters of these microbes. Almost several lac bacteria can be carried by flies both inside and outside their bodies. For survival Flies have adopted several successful strategies like omnivory, high reproductive potential, cryptic habits, great speed in escaping, ability to survive outdoors as well as indoors, and sometimes, in case of overcrowding, migration. To know about ways to reduce fly menace, let us try to find out the weakest link in a fly's life cycle. It all starts with mating of adult flies somewhere inside a poultry shade. After mating, when a fly locates an ideal wet litter patch, it releases a pheromone called musculure, which triggers aggregation of other gravid flies to the same spot. Egg laying can start from 4 to 36 hours after mating and requires more than 70% moisture for hatching. Around 200 eggs can be laid in a day. As you can see, ovulation can be a group activity with bunch of flies laying eggs side by side. This is how freshly laid egg mass looks like. The maggots then disperse feeding on wet litter. After molting for three times and feeding continuously, maggots are fully grown in three to four days. Maggots stop feeding before pupation and start migrating in search of a dry location. Edges of litter, which are normally dry, are preferred for pupation. During pupation, the maggots form cocoon around their body. Pupa is an immobile state where complete transformation takes place. Adult flies finally emerge from the pupa by making an opening in the cocoon. It has to gently push its body out of the chamber. This is achieved by forcing the body fluid to and fro. Once out, 
it rests for a while and then stretches its wings and flies to begin a new generation.